Hey guys, I am at Devil's Millhopper Geological Park near Gainesville, Florida. I made a quick stop here and I'm making my way up to Georgia today. Devil's Millhopper Geological State Park is considered a national natural landmark. It is the site of a 120 foot deep collapsed sinkhole. As you descend into the sinkhole, you can experience small creeks, flowing waterfalls, and lush plant life. There is a noticeable drop in temperature and the ecosystem here is reminiscent of a rainforest. A lot of steps. Wow, this is really pretty. I would not expect this in Florida. Well, sinkholes, yes, but this is definitely a prettier sinkhole with the water in it and all. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's the waterfalls. And then the biggest one I showed you over here. And now I have to make my way back up all these steps. Very pretty. So I think this trail just loops around, but I believe a part of it may be closed off. Yeah, it looks like that section is. I think they're doing repairs. They've been doing repairs for a while and the section I was just on only recently opened back up. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's the bridge they're talking about right there. So pretty much at this sign here. But I can still go the other direction, I think. Ooh, it's muddy. <laughs> Temperature is nice. I'm gonna see how far this section of the trail will go. This is basically the other side of that loop. You can definitely see the difference in the bark between these two pines. Here's another one. FYI, it's a little muddy in sections. But it's an easy trail. And it looks like this is where I turn around. I'm back at the other side of the bridge. So gosh, they just gotta repair this bridge. So I'm heading back. Uh, if I had known, it was going to be this muddy. I had to wear my other shoes. I have a pair designated for this kind of type of thing. Oh well. Well, that was a fun, short little hike of geological significance. <laughs> 
I'm going to continue heading north. My campground <laughs> this is where I'll stay tonight and probably tomorrow night uh, I'm at Reed Bingham State Park in Adele Georgia not far off of Interstate 75 uh, it's a nice campground every all the sites are kind of packed together but I'm at site 16 and it's a pull-through site it has water and electric hookup It has a picnic table, a lantern hook, and a fire pit. It's a busy place. I can, I, people are already pulling in, and I imagine this place is going to fill up by tonight. <laughs> when I made the reservations, there was only one or two sites available, so they're probably all going to come in later tonight. But yeah, tomorrow I'll show you guys around a little bit more. Just another stop on my way heading north. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, I am just going to have a hummus salad sandwich. It's easy and I have the hummus. I've got to get rid of some stuff in my fridge. I packed it so tight that I'm worried it might not be running efficiently. So I got lots of veggies in there and I need to make sure I eat them. <laughs> So I'm just going to put together some bell pepper, celery, red onion, and kale. Mix it with the hummus. Whenever I do this, I always end up making too many veggies for the amount of hummus that I have. But this is hummus that I had from the house, and I think I have enough here to make probably a couple sandwiches so I'll probably have a leftover <laughs> salad sandwich tomorrow <laughs> this is probably not the right knife for doing this But when you're in a van, you have a tendency to choose one or two favorite knives and just make them work. <laughs> so I have my veggies chopped. I'm just gonna add the hummus and some salt and pepper. And then I'll let it sit for just a little bit, maybe 10 minutes, let the flavors kind of come together and that kale kind of wilt a little bit in there. And yeah, it's making a lot of salad. <laughs> That's all right. I won't be able to save quite as much room in my fridge as I thought because I'll still have to put this back in that's what I'll put the leftovers in but uh, if I have a sandwich tomorrow then I'll get rid of this stuff pretty quick but yeah it looks like uh, can you see that and that's what it looks like I'm gonna toast some bread while that's sitting and put some chips with it and have dinner so I've shown you guys this toaster before it just collapses down it's a GSI toaster. Just set it on the burner like so and then place your toast on the top to toast it. So just like that. 
I burnt the bread a little bit. <laughs> So I am going to try and keep this video short. I think what I might try to do is start posting twice per week. Uh, I don't, don't hold me to that because I may not be able to maintain that kind of editing schedule. But I thought, you know, the videos seem like they get really long sometimes and I wanna, there's so much I wanna tell you guys and show you guys. I thought if I can find a way to kind of keep them shorter, that might be better. Let me know, do you prefer videos that are posted twice a week that are shorter or longer videos once a week? Um, next time I see you guys, I will show you around this park a little bit more. Until then, bye. <laughs>